You're live on Lunch Break Live. Tell me who you are and what we're making. Hi, I'm Angela Meads Kaya, and today we're going to make some sweet potato flautas with jackfruit. You are the jackfruit queen. Let's see. This is what it looks like, right? Yes, this is barbecue. This is barbecue jackfruit. I do seven different jackfruits. Well, today I'm gonna to do six different jackfruits, including jerk and curry and teriyaki. I've got a vindaloo with some incredible Indian spices. So, yes. Let's get started. Let, let's see the actual jackfruit, if we could. So, show me the can, the title. There we go. So, this is how you get the jackfruit? Yes, it comes from the distributor, and, and the, most, of the, most of the jackfruit sold in, in America comes from Thailand. Mm -hmm. So, um, we have to cook it when it's young. If we cook it when it's ripe, it gets a little mushy and it doesn't do what we want it to do. And where can you get these cans? Um, well, I get this from a distributor. You can get it from me. Oh, wow. You can okay. get it right here at Jackfruit. Okay. So, now, And I think Trader Joe's carries it as, as well. But when we cook this young, it's gonna. T this is how it takes on the texture of meat. Oh, and I make the most amazing crab cakes with this and you can make you can make anything with it You just work with it and do it use it exactly like you would use Meat, okay, great. Okay. Perfect. All right. Let's let's start it. All right. Fantastic. So um, I love Romero's tortillas. I, I love them. I love them. I love them. Okay. Um, I use the I use the small ones for the tacos. Okay. And, and we're gonna use the king size. Okay. I'm gonna start. I started. I just cubed the sweet potatoes and then I boiled them. And I put a little I put a little cinnamon in this. That's all that's in this. It's just sweet potato and cinnamon. Wow. I like whole foods. I just want to cook with unprocessed whole foods. Now, and, uh, Kathleen May wants to know, is frozen jackfruit okay to use? Um, to cook with, I'm, I'm not sure. Just make sure that it's young. The young, unripe jackfruit. Unripe jackfruit. Yeah, people. because otherwise you're going to have to go through a lot of process. I've heard of people baking it to get it to where they want it when it's ripened, mm -hmm. but um, this is unripe. So, I've got, I just smeared some, some sweet potato on there. We're going to throw our avocado on there it's just regular avocado you can even do it what's good about this is because we're cooking it you can even do the avocado that's not ripe yet uh-huh right so yeah. now we're gonna now, put a little, tell me about this this now, is this is my barbecue jackfruit and i use open pit because i'm from the midwest and that's what we use in the midwest okay. so i use open pit barbecue what is sauce this, what how does this how does this differ from this like what did you do to get it from this to this well, I put it in that big, huge wok that we're getting ready to cook these in. I put it in a big wok, and I just cooked it. I don't use any oil. I don't use any seasonings. I let the juices come from the sauce, and I just put this in there, and after it's cooked, I, I chop it up with a big um, with a big spatula that has okay. a sharp edge. All right. Can so we get that in there? So now we're going to get this in there, and what I do is I just push it down, and I make sure that everything is sticking inside that, that sweet potato. So when we fry it, nothing's going to come out. So you're going to fry this? I'm going to roll this up and I'm going to fry it for Woo! the most amazing treat. And it's funny, I, I literally came up with this. I was sitting and it just, these things are just popping into my head. They're just, so I know that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And oh, then I get a phone. food flautas. There we go. All right. Wow. First, let me turn on the. Let me turn this piece on. It's going to All right. Open. I want to show everybody this uh -huh. because this is the key and it's a great alternative, a wonderful alternative to me. Young green jackfruit, okay, in brine. I have no idea what brine is, but we'll, I'm sure we'll find out. So you take this and you, you chop it up and basically you've got that. And then that becomes this with a little uh, barbecue sauce and there you go okay and you can season it however you want to season it uh-huh you can do any you can do anything with okay it. anything that you do with meat you can do with jackfruit so and, and by the way we're talking to a, a lady who's got an amazing backstory you uh, were a stand-up comic who opened for Chris Rock yes and, and other major other major stars and you before that you were a model and then all of a sudden your mom became sick she switched to a plant-based diet you noticed improvements and you decided to just open this restaurant jackfruit cafe on crenshaw uh, near 30th street there's the story and i'm sticking to it wow okay all right so let's get this in the grease i hear it over there popping okay. so i just hold it with a long long snap all right 
and we've got a whoa, beautiful walk here. We're just going to stick that in there. Oh, oh boy. It wasn't quite hot enough, so we're going to wait a second. But it's okay. A little, so that little bubble. So we're deep frying it. We're deep frying this volatile. It's like a, it's like a, a, a huge taquito. Uh -huh. And see, so now it, it's really fast. I love this. I love cooking in the wok. I love frying oh, in the Oh, yes. Wok. I Look, just got a wok recently. And I was like, why didn't I get this 10 years ago? Yes. Linda Michelle says, I love barbecue jackfruit jalapeno and pineapple on pizza. Woo! That's, oh, my God. That's awesome. You might have to do that one. I might have to do Look that it, one. Listen, let's just listen to this. Woo! And it has all the flavors, everything that, that you, that, Someone looking for something good to eat has without cooking a, a, an animal. Like this is going to be major. And then the sauce that I make with it is, um, it's a creamy cashew sauce. And all the vegans know about the creamy cashew sauce on this. It's just, it's amazing. Once again, so, what are we making for those just joining? We're making sweet potato jackfruit flounces. Whoa. And we've got the uh, flounces so, in there. So your, your, your grease has to be really, really hot. This split a little bit, but guess what? It's gonna be just as good. Woo! If not All right. better. If not better. And it's boiling in there. And how do yeah. you know when it's done? Right. It's gonna tell us. It's gonna be nice and golden and crispy. Wow. Normally it doesn't take this long, but I just turned the grease on. So, and this grease hasn't been on since last night. Okay. So, it's getting there. See, it's getting golden. Sweet potato, sweet mashed potato, and yes. avocado, and, and, and wrapped avocado. in a, what would you call it, a taco or a... It's a, it's a corn tortilla. It's a Romero's corn tortilla. Okay. And I, I love cooking with this. This is so soft, and and they cook so well. Romero's. Oh, here. Woo, look at that. Look at that. that. Yeah, let it cook. It's a little bit longer. Oh, wow. I can, I can let look it go. That. You can let it go That's now. A, this is Vindaloo. Uh -huh. This is Vindaloo jackfruit. Okay. 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 Uh, uh, They also have a fantastic um, lottery thing going on here yeah. where uh, there's so many people who have won the lottery who have come here. And guess what I did? I bought some lottery tickets because I could help some animals if I won the lottery. And I looked around and I said, this is exactly the type of place where people win the lottery. And I bought lottery tickets. So uh, if I win, you know animal causes are going to get something fabulous. But it's a fun place. It's in King's Donuts on Crenshaw. Let's go back to the action. I feel like play by play. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. And once again, it was avocado, sweet potato mash, plus the jackfruit. The jackfruit came from uh, this can, and you can get that. And the main thing is to get the young green jackfruit. That's crucial. Exactly. There you go. Okay, am I going to taste test now? Yes, you are. And All I'm right. Gonna get you Cashew sauce. Oh, okay. Little, Let's get some cashew sauce. Snacks, You've got a whole thing sauce. going on here. Yes. And you just started Isn't this beautiful? restaurant. Yeah. I love these colors. Oh, you've got a lot of spices, girl, going on. Okay. Yes. Um, now, let's see. Flavor. Okay, so this is the cashew sauce. And it's just cashew? What's in the cashews? Let's see. Let's see that cashew sauce. Cashew, Whoa. nutritional yeast, lemon, garlic, onion, so a you, little tamari, and that's it. So you literally can create this cashew sauce. Say it one more time, because this is this is a key. This I want to yep. be able to make cashew sauce. Say it again. Cashew, lemon, nutritional yeast, garlic, onion, a little bit of vinegar, and a little bit of tamari sauce. And what do you do? Put that's it. In the, it. Put it. Just mix? put it all in the Vitamix. You want, you want most part um, cashew, and then you cover it all in water and let her rip. And, uh, and a little uh, kosher salt towards the end. Okay. And dates, 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 dates. So dates. A, wow. hand, a handful okay. of we're dates. Gonna, we're gonna put all that in. Now listen, awesome. hold this right here, hold it high. Woo. You're a tall lady, yes, so you can hold it high. I am very excited, <laughs> very excited to try this. And I know, snort my girlfriend, that snarky vegan girl, she's right up there with being a jackfruit addict. So she is just jackfruit delicious. She's we're gonna be here 
you're going to be sick of us. Oh, Look at I'm this. Never sick of you. Never sick of helping animals. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my God. Mmm. <laughs> this is so good. Is I want to. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Oh my God. This is like the best thing I've ever tasted in my life. Mmm. <laughs> Mm. Awesome. It's good. It's, it's good. good. It's good. It hit me like the recipe, like the ingredients just hit me, and I was sitting out there in a chair. I came in here, I made it, and I was like, oh my God. Oh my what God. What have I done for these? Oh years? my God. Jackfruit Cafe, Crenshaw Boulevard in South Los Angeles at 30th Street, inside King's Donuts. Buy some lottery tickets while you're here. They've got a whole lottery thing going on, which, of course, I was very intrigued by, where, like, there's a lot of lottery winners who've uh, been here, who bought their tickets here. So I bought some lottery tickets. Um, this is the best tasting thing. And remember, it just opened. This place just opened. September, right? September 1st. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. I have to tell you, while we've been doing this, about five people have come up demanding jackfruit. <laughs> And Angela was like, we're not opening till one. And they're like, why? I mean, they're like demanding. There's something about this jackfruit. People are going crazy. You've got a little uh, yeah. uh, demand on your hand on here. And that's pretty good to having just opened. Because people are try people really are trying to get away from meat. They really, yeah, really people are, are trying to get away from meat because, you know, I was just talking about this. Um, why co-sign your own oppression? I'm a uh, Puerto Rican. We're all, we're, we're, you're a person of color. I'm a person of color. Fast food is disproportionately giving people of color cancer, heart disease, diabetes, obesity, and everything. We don't want to sign our own oppression. We've got to get away from the fast food joints with the burgers and the shakes, meat and dairy. It's a killer. So come to Jack Fruit Cafe instead. Mmm. Wow! All right, I want to get final word from. Okay. Just get get around, and I'm gonna get okay. your final word. Angela. Yes, ma'am. You are amazing. Tell tell us, you know, your your thoughts. Um, my my thoughts are I I I, I don't want to see people continue eating animal, and we're not supposed to eat animal. Listen, if God didn't intend for a cow to live 20 years. Why would he have given him a 20-year lifespan? So, and they is, kill him after a couple of years because they spent. Yes. So it's an amazing, amazing fruit that will do anything that meat can do. We can even bind it together. I can even make a steak out of this. I can make some uh, roast, roast out of this. So, come on down. Come on down. See me. Let's talk. Let's be friends. Let's let's fellowship. Let's keep this movement going. Come see me. And I, I'm so honored to to just be a part of the movement. You are a big part because oh, you make delicious food. <laughs> Angela Means, uh, Jackfruit Cafe on Crenshaw Boulevard. Be here. Woo! Thank you.